Hey guys, Christina here, and today I'm going to take you through the Apologia Science course that we did over the last year in our homeschool. So we did this for our children who are in grade 1, grade 2, and grade 4, and then the 3-year-old also, she listened in. So we used Apologia's Exploring Creation with Zoology 3. This is Land Animals of the Sixth Day. So this is the textbook, which I'll open and show you in a minute. Um, so we used this, and then we also used their notebooks. So for the younger kids in grade one and two, we used their junior one. This is it. And then for our older son, we used just a regular notebook. So I will turn the camera around and give you a peek inside what they look like. And then I'll come back and give you kind of our thoughts and how it went for the year. All right, so here is what the textbook looks like. Um, as I showed you a second ago, it's not that thick. Um, it is a hardcover one, so it's gonna last, which is nice. So when you first open it up, it tells you a bit about the Apologia options. So there's the textbook, there's the notebook, the junior notebook, and then there are um, audiobooks as well, and there's a field trip journal too. So there's some information there if you're interested in any of those. This is the sheet you can use, scientific speculation sheet, um, all throughout. So there's a master one here. And then there's an introduction. It talks a little bit about the lessons, um, why they've created it the way they have, how to use it, etc. There is also a website here where you can um, see more resources and videos and such. Then on the next pages, they have a list of everything that you're going to need for each uh, lesson. Okay, so it's all laid out for you, which is really helpful. And then it goes into detail about each chapter. So it shows each lesson here. All the way to 14 lessons and then there's the answers to the narrative questions and some other information at the end there so then it hops right on in to the lessons um, this is lesson one so you can see just kind of an idea there's pictures all the way along there's different um, kind of categories subheadings here you can kind of get a look at it there is quite a bit of reading they have these what do you remember section which I'll show you in the older children's um, notebook. There's a section for them to actually write this out. Uh, for younger children, they can narrate it. There's uh, map it activities throughout the book. Track it activities. Uh, more notebook activities and experiments throughout the book. And so it tells you everything you need um, and what you need to do it. This is actually one that about camouflage that we actually did. Um, that the kids really enjoyed doing that one. And then it continues on to the next lesson. So that is kind of an overview of what the textbook looks like. So now I'm going to give you an idea of what the notebooks look like. So you can see that they are spiral bound. Um, they held together pretty well. We did have a few that kind of came down and came undone a bit, um, but the others typically did pretty well. So let's look at the junior one first. So it gives some information about the author, that table of contents, and the division of it again. And then they have some uh, more detailed information about what is in each chapter. And they have a schedule. So this is a 28, I believe, yeah, 28 week schedule for two days a week. So it tells you exactly how you can break the textbook down in order to go with this. So for instance, the first week, it tells you what to read, begin working on, um, the facts, read, and then continues on that way. Let me just skip ahead here. This is Tyler, this is my second grader. So you can see there's always started off with some coloring. And then it moved into note section and they still have space to draw. There's always a scripture in there, there's um, printing and handwriting in each unit. There is um, some vocabulary or activities. And then this is something that I found really useful. They have um, DVD and book suggestions. So I would go through this list ahead of time and get whatever I could from our local library in order to supplement and to go along with this. So that was very, very useful. Um, some more information of things you can look up. And then there were always activities. This one, they had a little um, 
peekaboo kind of paper mini book that they did. And then they had the, this was the camouflage one that we did. So uh, they're getting used to kind of the scientific method. What do they think will happen? What were the results? What were the conclusion? And keeping track as we went along. And then on to the next chapter. So here's a look at the regular notebook. So the one my grade four child did of that first lesson or unit to see kind of how it varies. So there's still space for the notes and for the pictures. There's the what do you remember? Um, talking about animal careers. Again, there's the scripture. It's a much longer one for them to copy. This one has the crossword in it as the activity. The same little mini book there. Again, resources, lots of resources, which is wonderful. And then here's his scientific method for that experiment. And on to the next lesson. All right, so what I've done here is I've pulled up a lesson in all of the books so you can kind of get an idea of how it works for multi-ages. So this is unit eight. This is an ungulates. Um, so this is my first grade child, second grade child, fourth grade child. So you can see that there starts off with coloring in the first pages with some scriptures on the bottom. And then it moves in to notes and they can draw pictures as well. Whereas the older one starts off right with this note page. They have the what do you remember to do at the end. And then these are their notes. So I just turn it over. You can get an idea, kind of the notes the grade one student took compared to the notes of grade two and the notes of grade four. So much more detailed. I'll just flip through here a couple pages. And you can see, so I'll show you these ones. So they had a uh, true-false quiz they asked the kids to make up. So you can see that my six-year-old wasn't required to do that. Um, I had my uh, seven slash eight-year-old do half, and then my you know eight, nine-year-old do all of it. Here's a look at the scripture differences. So for this one, they actually did the same scripture, which is unusual. Usually um, he had more to do, but again, you can see kind of how the writing progresses and how it changes through the different levels. And then they had a vocabulary puzzle page for the younger kids. So these ones, um, they cut the pieces out and then they go together. They have to match them. Whereas in the older one, there's the crossword puzzle here for them to fill out. Another one. And then here is the mini book. So they glued these animals and oh, I just pushed those in. Uh, they had to write facts about them and then they just go right in there. So every unit has some of these fun activities with them. Um, and there's a few pages here. You can see they did different animals. So this, my um, second grader did the same. And the first grader didn't do that part. And then again, DVD suggestions there, DVD suggestions here. Um, we didn't do a project for this one, this unit, but I'll show you. They had the same page there. So there you go. You can kind of see how they all differ, how it works for families reading one book together, um, but doing kind of different levels of activities at the same time. So I did want to show you also at the end of the book that they have answer keys for things like the crossword puzzles um, or for the different activities for the kids. This is the junior one here. That's the, the regular one. And then in both of them, in the textbook where it talked about the track it section, they have this little thing you can pull out and put together and then you can actually draw the animal tracks as you go along. Now we decided to do it in a separate book just because that worked easier for us but that it is here and then all the extra things for the mini books are all at the back so you can cut them out and not worry about kids um, cutting what they've been writing etc. You can see that we didn't do all of the mini books which I'll talk about in a minute. So there's a look at those. So overall, Apologia, it worked really well for our family. Um, being that it was our first year homeschooling, I really loved how easy it was that it had the schedule and I could just follow that. Now, we did start off doing it two days a week as the schedule suggested, 
But um, as I've kind of shared before, we had some issues with our younger son transitioning between um, topics. So we ended up doing it one week, so the two days worth, in one afternoon. And that's all we would do for the afternoon is focus on that one family subject. So we actually went through, we followed the order up until uh, chapter 12, which is the dinosaurs. We skipped over that one. We went on to 13 and 14. And then we actually went and did our butterfly, uh, raising caterpillars and butterflies, which I'll link the video if you haven't seen that, um, because we were gonna be done early. And so I thought we might as well take the opportunity to do that. So we did that and then we came back and we did that chapter 12 last. Because my kids are crazy about dinosaurs, they were so looking forward to it. And actually after we finished it, we are very grateful to live in a place that has um, lots of dinosaur bones not far from us. So we actually went to the Royal Tyrell Museum, which is about an hour and a half from us. And we went camping down in Dinosaur Provincial Park, which is about two and a half hours, I believe, away. Um, so the kids could get the hands-on experience and continue with the learning that they had. So that was really cool. Now, it is a Christian-based science. They do talk about creationism all the way through. They have a section called um, Creation Confirmation. We, as a family, we read what they, they said and they shared. Um, and then we would just talk to the kids a little bit more. Um, what did they think? What were their ideas? And so that's how we worked in this view that wasn't solely creationism, um, because I did want the kids to kind of learn a little bit beyond that. So along with that, um, we started off doing kind of everything that they had on the schedule. And as the year went on, I started to pick and choose a little bit more about what we wanted to spend our time on and what we didn't. Um, like I showed you, my grade one and grade two had the same notebook, but they didn't do the same amount of work. And so we just changed it up as we went along. Um, I did supplement with a number of those videos and the books that are recommended in here. That's a fantastic resource. I love that. Um, and then we also did some games. We played um, Professor Noggin's dinosaur game. It was a really fun one and they have insects and animals and all kinds of ones as well. And then we also did Habitat Trail, Hit the Habitat Trail, which is a fun game and it talks about animals and habitats and those are just kind of some supplementary things that we did in addition to these books. So I should add too that the reason we chose to do um, this particular apology and this book was because we had passes to our local zoo. And so we included zoo trips in as we went along. Um, so we would study the animals and then we would actually have the chance to go and look at some of them and observe some of them, which was really cool. And of course, the dinosaur part, my kids were crazy about dinosaurs and so it really fit in with what they wanted to know and what they wanted to learn. So overall, I really like this. Um, I think we'll definitely use Apologia in the future. Um, and I just, I liked how we could do it as a family, it made my life easier, they learned. The writing in here is super, super in-depth. <laughs> um, sometimes I was kind of like, is this really for elementary ages? Uh, maybe more like high school, but it, it works. And the kids remember things, which is really interesting. And so overall, we're really happy with it. If there's anything I didn't um, address or answer that you have a question about it, leave it in the comments below. Um, or let me know, have you used Apologia? Which ones have you used before? Um, and did you like them? Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day. Take care.